All right, let's have a quick look at how to make a portfolio entry, which is usually in the fifth activity of your session. Firstly, make sure you read the question carefully, all right, because they do change sometimes from day to day. They're not always the same style of question, so read it carefully and make sure you know what to do. And when you're ready to type an entry, this is how you do it. You go to Portfolios on the menu, and then depends which school you're at. Um, perhaps, as is the case here, you might have to click on your teacher's name. So if your teacher's name appears, click on your teacher's name, and then the student names will appear who with that teacher. Okay, so you scroll up and down until you find your name. Alternatively, you might just click on Portfolios, and these names will appear straight away. So either way, find your name and click View straight underneath it. So let's pretend this example here is the one we need to look at. So click View, and up comes your portfolio. All right, now to make an entry in here, we go over to the top right and click New Entry. That's what you do each time, New Entry. And what you need to do is give it a title. It'd be really good if you could use the title to be the stage and session it's coming from. Now it makes it easy for you and your teacher to check out your, your contribution to the portfolio for this session. All right now down here is where you type your entry. Okay, so just there's not a whole lot of formatting options here, so keep it pretty simple. Paragraphs, sentences, bullet points if you like. All right, the icons are there. Okay, now just to explain what it is though, it's actually a private blog. Okay, so the portfolio is a private blog, and what that means is that you and your teacher are the only people who can come and see this, this blog entry. Right, and, and in other words, other students won't be able to access yours and you won't be able to access other students. Now the reason for that is that it's a portfolio of your work. Okay. Now in the other activities of the sessions, there's usually lots of solutions and feedback and pen casts and all those sorts of things which are aimed at giving you support and help along the way. So the idea of the portfolio, though, is that it's your work, and after all those things you've learned during the session, we're hoping that you can sort of um, have a go yourself and not look up other people's work to sort of learn off that in this case. All right, and that way we'll be able to keep a good check on your progress you're making with your problem solving, all right, and the application of the maths. All right, so that's what, all, that's what it really is. So basically you type your entry in here, you got some options here like inserting an image or uploading a file and linking if, if required. Um, also you might want to put in the emotions. So maybe you're really happy right, with your entry. Maybe it's a great question you've written or you've improved a solution in a really good way. But when you finish typing your entry, go to the bottom right hand side and click save. All right. So when you go in, hit New Entry, each time you'll be able to type it in. If you ever want to change an entry, let's say you suddenly changed your mind or found an error or something, you just click go up here and click Edit, and you'll be able to go straight back in and, and change it, and click Save again. All right, so that's what your portfolio is. It's, it's, and what you'll find is that each time you type a new entry, it'll be the top one, and the older ones will get pushed down steadily. And so you'll be able to look through that right every so often and see what you've been doing over the term and so will your teacher and really it's a portfolio because it'll just um, we'll be able to have a good look over how you're progressing and hopefully we'll see that you improve your ability to solve problems over the term and communicate your work and your solutions all right so that's the purpose of it and that's how to do it